Hey folks, I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk to you about ending links, but first I want to tell you about the new merch. Um, as you probably all know, we do a new line of merch every year. This one is kind of a weird theme. It's kind of like this thrift store theme. And so <laughs> one of our shirts is this Lessons with Marcel Bluegrass Conference and Exposition 1994. You can see it is an event staff shirt. If you want people to know you went to that pretend event, you can let them know. I made this one. This is uh, the Billy Goats 1996 T-Ball Champions. Of course, B Division, Bluegrass Division. Um, this one also comes with a number on the back. And uh, there is also the Bluegrass Coalition one. I was thinking we might do something with the funds from this one, but I don't know. Bluegrass Grass Coalition of, is of course the uh, the band that uh, makes songs on my Discord. Um, here's our world tour. You can see we have a lot of dates that are to be announced. <laughs> <laughs> there are some other shirts. Maybe I'll just toss some graphics on screen here. Um, but there is an Oregon Trail shirt, um, which I'm really excited about. If you're interested, all you have to do is go to LessonsWithMarcel.com. You click on the merch tab and you can order them right on the website. Uh, I know the, the merch runs always do well. You guys always come out and you buy all the merch. But I wanted to say that uh, one of the best selling shirts of all time is the Toe Knee Rice shirt, <laughs> which has a picture of the toe, the knee and the, the bowl of rice. And um, we recently redid that one. I don't know how long this one's gonna be up, but we kind of did like, I don't know, like an anime Japanese kind of design. Uh, it's, it's silly, it's definitely another joke. I wanted to let you all know specifically that we redid that design since so many people have purchased it. So if you want a new version of that one, check it out. I didn't know what we should do to redesign it. And this seemed like the most ridiculous fun thing. Anyway, thank you for your support. Uh, let's talk about these ending licks, yeah? All right, let's do this thing. Okay, so the idea for this lesson comes from a student of mine named Jack. Shout out to Jack for this idea. Basically, Jack asked me about the last four measures of a bluegrass guitar break and what kind of uh, licks normally go there because it can be something really exciting that happens right there. I wrote him down a couple of ideas. We kind of talked about how it worked and kind of came up with a formula. And I want to show that to you guys. So the basic idea is we put the most exciting thing in the world right here. And then we put some variation of a G run right here. And it's a specific variation. It's this one, <laughs> which is a really common little lick. If you don't already know it, you definitely gotta know it. Let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do <laughs> most of the work here for us. I'm gonna write down a bunch of neat licks that you might put here. But I really want you to be aware of the template because if you ever find another really neat lick in the wild, this is kind of what we're shooting for. So one of the most famous ending licks that you might've heard before is that one Tony Rice lick. So let's write that one down and I'll show you how the system works. So I'm looking at the last four measures and I'm plugging in this Tony Rice lick. This is how Tony Rice uses it too. Ba -da 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 -da. Another pull off, oh, wrong string. And then normally like a escape note kind of thing. And he ends up on the open G, right? You see all of this happen in exactly two measures, just like our template. Tony ends up on the open G and what lick is he gonna play? He's gonna play this one in our hypothetical little universe here. Um, so here is our first example. Example number one. Let me play it for you real quick. That was a great way to end a break. That's a super cool lick. I'm gonna show you another one that I've heard Tony Rice do. Here's a lick that he uses in Likes of Me and he also uses in um, Blue Red or Chain. <laughs> not, not the exact lick, but you know, some shade of it. Um, I'm gonna, of course, create my own version here. So here's my, my little interpretation of that Tony lick. Might not be exactly what Tony ever does on a record, but that's okay. Kind of what this whole thing's about, in a way. And you can see how we're still following that formula. We're putting all the exciting stuff over here and we're ending with the same lick. This might be what your break sounds like. Let's do one that's kind of based on that, uh, you know, the tune. Uh, someone leave it in the comments. Just because I can't think of the name of the song while I'm <laughs> while I'm filming the video doesn't mean that the song doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, here's another one. There's also a really bluesy lick that we sometimes hear Tony use that that you might like. Got a repeated note in the beginning, something like this, and then we'll. We'll end it the same way. Our last two measures will come out the same. And we now have this. This is a 
another great phrase you might end a break with. Always following the formula, right? G run in the second half, exciting link in the front half. Oh man, maybe I can do, maybe I can do one more and we'll just call this like a super quick lesson. You know what I wanna do? I wanna do the uh, the way Tony ends, uh, the way he ends uh, Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge Cabin Home. So really small bend right there. Do -da, and he's also scooping into this note. Do -da, bo -da 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 -do. Da. He jumps up and he hits a note up there. It is a 16th note thing. This isn't exactly what Tony does, but he does something like it, let's say. Um, so you can see in this one that I'm actually varying the G run, right? I used a different version of the G run. It's still valid. It's still the same kind of lick. We just used a different version to, uh, to get out of this one. Great lick. Great ending lick. All right, so so here are my five uh, Tony Rice ending licks, and I'm gonna play them all in a row so you can hear them back to back. Um, if you have any questions about how they're constructed or how they work, just ask them in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer and happy to help. So it's just my quick way of uh, showing you all these cool ending licks. Alright folks, I hope you enjoyed that video on ending licks. Remember to check out the new merch if that's your thing. Uh, we'll see you around on Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Eastern for live streams. Otherwise, just look out for new videos, new bluegrass content. We'll see you next time. Okay.